Hi and welcome back to part 3 of what's new in Photoshop CS6. This is a really quick session. My name is Ludmilla Adams, creator of Fashion Chartboard. Thanks for watching. So here I just took um, one of the 3D fonts into a glitter background and I wanted to show you how you can play around with this new blur feature. Um, one thing that Photoshop CS6 is really strong for is that it has these widgets. and the reason behind it is they want you to be able to work directly on your canvas space. So one thing that's new is if we go to filter blur, we have three new ones up here and we have something called field blur and we can set pins and you can see this pin. If I pull on it, I'm blurring my image quite a bit and I can move this pin and I can set another pin. So I could say, you know what, and actually move this pin over here and say maybe here at the beginning of my word fashion, I want it to be kind of sharp. But over here, where it's right in our face, <laughs> where it's closer to us, maybe you want to make it a little bit more blurry. Or you want to reverse it so you can take these values and play around with that. You can have many, many different pins. You can have one here in the middle where you kind of set it to where it's less. You can move this maybe even further away. And then what's really nice, and I'm going to apply this to a different layer, and I'm going to say OK up here, is um, the bokeh effect. So I'm going to go to blur. That's why I brought all this glitter in. I'm going to go back to field blur. And you can see right away, um, even without me touching these blur effects, that it looks kind of dreamy in the back. And I'm going to just go ahead and lighten this up in the back. And you can see how that's like the night city shot that you see a lot of times. And then you can see here, if I take this down, the effect goes away. And if I take this up, effect comes back and I can make the bokeh really really big so it takes a while for it to render and that's another thing about um, some of these features such as 3D um, really read what's required in terms of a GPU card and a video card okay all right, so thank you for watching. This is pretty much it from me. I would like to see some of your artwork while you play around with this. Please feel free to connect with me on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, and you can just go to fashionchalkbot.com and you'll find any of my social networks there, even on LinkedIn if you can. And I'm always interested in hearing what you guys have learned that I might have not shown yet. And also, um, thank you so much for watching.